We have some goodies here. Get a good look at it. Next up. So everything is in now. All we have to do is just retrace our steps. I'll have you guys know everything is installed. We are driving the car as I speak right now. We go. yet another video as you guys can tell we are inside a closed vicinity but we are going to be working on the M today we have a bunch of parts right now my girl's in the car and she's actually gonna lift the car up a little bit up on the wood keep going keep going right there right there just because I gotta lift the front end and being that we're pretty slammed the jack doesn't fit under so we're gonna lift up the car and then I got some goodies so stay tuned y'all car is up on jack stands now and as you guys can tell we have some goodies here some Mishimoto goodies some CSF goodies and some Mosselman goodies as well. You guys already know we are running the CSF um, top mount intercooler. We have our charge pipes. We got our front mount intakes as well as our uh, CSS tuning oil cap for the oil filter and our Mishimoto oil catch can. It's only right to focus on the engine cooling. So we are going to be pulling up the front bumper, taking that off and addressing everything in regards to the DCT uh, transmission cooler the oil cooler as well as the heat exchanger so stay tuned for that and we also got some goodies with the oil um oil thermostat for the muscleman upgrade which uh replaces the oem one and replaces it with a rather shiny looking finish a must have to clean up that engine bay but yeah let's get to it start taking stuff off start addressing everything now there are a lot of videos on youtube showing you how to take out the front bumper so i'm not going to go too in depth first thing we want to do is we're going to remove this trim right here we're going to address all these bolts up here there's two bolts on the side and then there's a bunch that go under the car once those are out we'll disconnect the bumper and then we'll work on what's uh under the car which is probably going to be the um oil cooler if anything but that's basically all the bolts that need to come off next clip should uh hopefully be me removing the bumper so stay tuned we got all bolts on the side off, all from the top. The only thing you do got to disconnect is the hose for the windshield wipers. Can you help me? Shout out to my girl who's helping me take this off right now. But as you guys can tell, bumper. Aha! Bumper is off. Get a good look at it. M4 without the front bumper. This is probably going to be a good time. Oh my god. What is this? There's glass in there. This is going to be a good time to clean out my front intakes. So now that the bumper's off, we're going to take off this uh, foam crash beam. Then we're going to take the metal uh, crash beam off. Then the ducting for the plastic trim that allows the air to flow through. And then we'll probably be able to take the first component out, which is the oil cooler right here. You guys can see from the bottom, it's kind of covered up with this plastic piece. But we're going to remove this as well and replace it with our Turner Aluminum one piece um, oil cooler guard. Due to the fact that I have these front mount intakes, I'm going to have to take an extra step and actually remove this part of the piping just so that I can take this plastic trim off. So this plastic trim is actually held on by this clip right here. I'm gonna demonstrate it, just push it in. These should pop down, this comes out. Once this comes out, take the crash beam off. Once the crash beam comes off, we're able to take this ducting out. Once that's out, we'll take out the cross member, which is back here. Okay, so now that we have the heat exchanger in front, that is our oil cooler. And if you guys can tell, this is our DCT cooler right here. So we are gonna be replacing this as well, but we're gonna drain the coolant. Once we drain the coolant, Install this, oil cooler, heat exchanger, and DCT cooler. All three components will be on. Okay, so we just disconnected the radiator hose from the bottom, um, I believe that's the side cooler. Everything is draining right now for coolant. Once we get this, we'll be able to unhook the heat exchanger hoses and pop it off. Next thing you want to do, we're going to unhook the heat exchanger hoses on the side right here. This one here, and this one right here. Once we hook that up, all we have to do is basically just drop the bracket that is holding the DCT cooler and the bracket that also kind of holds up the heat exchanger. Once that's down, we'll be able to swap in our new one. Heat exchanger, as you guys can tell, is out now. If you plan on doing this install, I would recommend, you know, having everything, all three components ready and slapping them all at the same time just so you don't have to go through the same struggle and, you know, take the heat exchanger out, oil cooler, just if you want to do your DCT cooler. So, 
keep that in mind if you're planning to do this upgrade on your uh, S55 platform. This is the OEM heat exchanger that comes on your S55 platform. And what I have right here is the CSF one. As you guys can tell, it is a lot bulkier, beefier, both um, vertically, but also in regards to how it's almost double the size. So one thing to note, if you plan on upgrading it, this definitely is going to help in the long run. Okay, so before we actually start the install, what we're gonna do is we're gonna be running down an unboxing of all the stuff that we're uh, gonna be installing today. Okay, so first thing that we have, you guys remember, we did a quick slight unboxing uh, from Turner Motorsport. Definitely recommend this if you plan on lowering your car or if you're already lowered and you're trying to protect your car, um, both the oil cooler but also the engine. Definitely something to invest in. Look into that. Next up, the Mishimoto oil uh, cooler. There it is. Our Mishimoto oil cooler. Brand new, sealed in the box. Look at that. It actually comes, forget about that, but serial number and everything. Only other thing that comes in the box is the of course, the air freshener, two bolts, and some gaskets. So, next thing up is our CSF DCT oil cooler. And this one's actually pretty simple, straightforward. Nothing too drastic, just the actual DCT cooler. That's basically all that comes in the box. And then, last but not least, our Musselman oil uh, thermostat. So, I think this is probably the one I'm most excited about. So, Musselman turbo systems. They, if you guys don't know, they also make turbos. But, look at that. Tell me that comes with the gasket and the seals, but look how beautiful that looks. Now, I don't know about you guys, but it's gonna be hard trying to keep this clean in the engine bay, but this stands out drastically. Machined and everything, beautiful finish. Like I said, definitely an upgrade, as well as the provided studs that come with it. But, an upgrade if you plan on keeping your oil and temperatures down in your S55. That is all for the unboxing. Next thing is next, the actual install. So stay tuned. We got all of this ready for the Beamer and I'm excited. So let's get to it, let's get dirty. While my girl takes the little plastic trim off for the underside of the DCT cooler. One, two, three. Now this is recommended and it's actually um, required. While she does that, I'm gonna install this. So we're gonna crawl into the car. DCT cooler right here. This is the OEM one. Basically two clips that hold in the DCT cooler. This is where the oil comes. Feed and then return. Let's slap this thing on real quick. These are the lines and these are things we have to take off. So it's just clips that you have to push down and then pull up on. Once you take those out, you gotta be quick because the oil is gonna come out. So we're gonna replace it real quick. Just pull those out. Put the new one in and then just line it back up. So if you guys can see, DCT cooler is installed. Definitely a game changer right here. I am going to have to add some DCT fluid into the system just to make up for whatever we lost, but also for the um, capacity that this one has. Luckily we have this right here. We'll be adding this shortly. Up next, the actual heat exchanger. CSF inner, uh, not inner cooler. CSF radi, uh, not even radiator, the heat exchanger, sorry. The inner cooler is up there. The heat exchanger is right here. But it clips in, there's one clip that clips in right there and then there's one that's behind this plastic trim right here but you basically like slide it to the right, clip it in and then now all you do is really just clip in the hoses. After that, we'll be able to fill our CSF uh, inner, uh, heat exchanger with a blend of BMW coolant as well as distilled water and then after that, we really just have to install the Mishimoto oil cooler and then our thermostat right here. Now I'm pretty excited being the fact that Everything is coming together. Connecting the hoses as we speak. Only thing left really is just like I said that um, the Mishimoto oil cooler at the bottom. Okay you guys, CSF intercooler is in. DCT CSF cooler is in as well, down here. Only thing left, of course, the Mishimoto oil cooler. If you see right here, it's one, uh, it's a 10 millimeter right here and a 10 millimeter right here. Once you take those off, this basically comes off. And we're gonna plug in the new Mishimoto one. It comes with two bolts. Um, and the bolts provided are what is actually going to hold those hoses to this oil cooler. So let's take this off and then we'll go from here. So the Mishimoto oil kit comes with these gaskets right here, as well as these bolts. We're gonna take off the old gasket from the oil feed line. And then right here is where the bolt is actually gonna connect to the new one. 
you can see the old one has the bolt protruding so it just bolts on but this one the bolts actually gonna go through and screw onto the Mishimoto end right here we will then perform the same thing on the other side I just gotta be quick and use two hands because as you guys can tell oil is dripping so I'm not trying to lose I'm trying to lose as little oil as possible but we are gonna have to top off at the end okay once the old one is out one thing you do want to note is we did transfer over our um, grommets for the oil f uh, cooler the OEM ones fit on the Mishimoto aftermarket one so do transfer those over we got these on now it's just really plug and play so we can slap this thing on okay so final component the actual metal Turner Motorsport uh, oil cooler guard. As you guys can tell, Mishimoto oil cooler is on. CSF oil cooler, sorry, heat exchanger is on. DCT CSF heat, ex uh, sorry, um, DCT cooler is also in there, tucked away. But all three components are in. Only last piece to put in and now is the actual guard on the bottom. So we're gonna install this after this. Basically just reverting everything back, putting the bumper on. We should be good to go. So as you guys can see, everything is coming along nicely. We have the shrouding back on. I have uh, part of the intakes back on. I just gotta put the filters back on. So everything is in now. All we have to do is just retrace our steps in regards to when we inst uh, uninstalled. Now we gotta install it back on. Bumper and everything. Now, for the actual thermostat, I believe I'm gonna save that for a separate video just because we got everything already set in and I'm, I kinda wanna test out the car, bleed the system and everything prior to then working on the actual oil filter, but everything else is coming along smoothly. So guess what? Well, we finished the car, but my camera battery basically died on me midway through on the installation, but I'll have you guys know everything is installed. We are driving the car as I speak right now. Um, I'm about to take it on the freeway, see how it performs. It is late already, so I wish I would have been able to give you guys like a full walk around and everything, but It'll have to wait for tomorrow. Just know that, you know, everything is on the car now and we're driving, so hopefully everything is smooth. But drop a comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. If you're gonna plan on uh, installing some parts on your car or if you have any questions in regards to the installation, I'm more than happy to help you guys, help out the community. Let this camera focus on me because it's not doing me justice right now. Bruh. Okay, so parts are installed. We're good. We're running smoothly right now. It did get late, so I apologize for that. I wish I would have been able to, you know, document the first star and us rolling out of the of the warehouse. But huge shout out to my girl. She definitely, uh, you know, helped me out. I honestly don't think I would have been able to finish if it wasn't for her. So I give huge props to her. You know, find one that's truly passionate about whatever it is that you like to do. But you know, show the same compassion um when it comes to whatever she likes so overall this install like i said earlier in the video if you're planning to knock one of these installs down try to do all three at one time it's going to save you a bunch of time a lot of work and like i said you can get all three of those components done in one sitting it did take me a while but the fact that i got all three of those components in oh i'm i'm ecstatic i'm happy you know with that being said i know that we didn't get to the muscleman thermostat we're gonna save that one for another video stay tuned i'm gonna close it out right here so don't forget to like comment and subscribe and like always you guys keep it authentic till the next one stay tuned peace